I'm Russ Stahl, author of Hip Hop Murders. I just got through making about two hours of these YouTubes and Harry. Uh, Harry is defective. Harry did not capture the sound of the YouTubes. We have to do them all over again. We're sitting here in downtown Soho, the most beautiful day of the year. There's the Apple. Harry catch the Apple station there. Yeah. Station A, the post office is on the Apple building. Uh, beyond it is the Ralph Lauren, the beautiful uh, Victorian architecture there. I am going to be talking to you about how to write a novel. I am going to base my talks on my own novel, Hip Hop and Murders, the Thriller. David Russell Stahl, you can find Hip Hop Murders on Amazon, read the free inside, the inside free, uh, see inside uh, feature, uh, read a few chapters for you to see if it's for you. Uh, or you can uh, download it, uh, buy it, uh, buy the paperback. This will, you know, reading the free inside will allow you to know how good a novelist I am. How good. You'll be, you'll be able to, to decide what you're interested in what I have to say. But you can listen to this uh, YouTube. That'll help you decide whether you're interested in what I have to say. <clears throat> I'm going to devote my first talk to what a novel is, and uh, I'm not going to talk about the specifics of Hip Hop Murders. You need to read the entire Hip Hop Murders before you subscribe to this and go on to the next uh, go on to the next uh, YouTube. How many YouTubes will I make? Probably 50 or more. Is I'm going to go into detail in, in, into how I wrote every uh, chapter of the novel. In the, again, in this talk, I'm going to talk about what a novel is uh, and what you're, what you're, you're, you should be trying to accomplish with a novel. I don't believe this has ever been completely understood before because I don't think people have ever understood the, the implication of evolution uh, on uh, the nature of the novel. Uh, I think I am the first one to understand correctly the uh, evolution of man from the ape. I subscribe completely to Darwin's theory of evolution. I do not, however, believe that we evolved from the ape over the last 50 million years as a result of natural selection. I believe that we bred ourselves from the ape just as we bred the Cocker Spaniel and the Collie and the Mastiff from a creature that had been evolved in nature the wolf. Over, over thousands of years, we just read it. You know, over 50 million years, we bred ourselves. From the ape. I'll, I'll explain that later in the lecture. Uh, we are the product of, of human evolution, of self evolution, and the novel is something that we've been doing for millions of years we have been telling stories about life uh, how do I know that this is hardwired in us uh, I know this from the fact that if I start talking about something and I don't get to the point if it drives people nuts people want to know what happened they, they want to know what you're talking about uh, 
and, and this this is hardwired. This has always been the case, and it's true of everyone. So you see how this is just stays next to it. Is this the what, where, when, and how? Oh, okay. Harry just asked me if this. He, all right. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to talk now about the purpose of words in a novel. And this has never been understood. It seems very trite, but it has never been understood. <clears throat> Tolstoy's translator, in the last translation of War and Peace, complained that Tolstoy had no style. What he did not understand was that prose should not have a style. Prose should be invisible. The purpose of prose in a novel is to evoke. My words, hip hop murders, I call hip hop murders the first wordless novel. My words serve one purpose to evoke a world and disappear. And as a result of this, you'll, you will find hip hop murders is the easiest novel to read. And there's nothing simple minded about it, okay? uh, or, or, or juvenile. No. It, it's, uh, the more education you have, the more you will enjoy it. I've had the most enthusiastic careers uh, in uh, postdoctoral uh, professor scientists. A, a person with a 90 IQ, a grade school education, can enjoy hip hop words, and he's not going to understand a lot of it. A lot of it's going to escape him. The dry humor will escape him. I've asked many people uh, who read the book uh, if they appreciated the humor. They said, I asked them if they thought it was funny. It was not funny. They said, uh, dude, it's real. I, I've had that response many times. Dude, it's real. They, they, the humor escapes them. All right, so how do I make my words disappear? All right, well, that's going to take a long time to explain so and I'm going to need to use I'm going to illustrate it with passages but basically when you write your novel your story, your long story about life I want everything you say in this novel to contribute something to the plot does that mean that I don't have a lot of dialogue and description and, and, and hip hop words I, I, I have as much as the average novel Okay. Every word contributes to the plot, and that's what makes that's that is one of the things that makes it disappear. I think another thing, uh, another aspect, development, <clears throat> is that my writing is demonic. All of the great art of history was created in the unconscious mind. I mean, do you think for one minute that uh, Shakespeare had to sit down? Or write a sentence and then look for a word that rhymed. Write a, no, he had huge passages uh, created uh, subconsciously when he, when he began writing. Uh, it took me 10 days to write Hip Hop Murders. It is the most finished, perfect novel of its life ever written. It took me 10 days to write it. Uh, I think maybe 1% had to be edited, tweaked here. Not, not, not even a percent. Uh, and, and this demonic energy, D-A-E-M-O-N-I-C, not D-E, D -E, right? This demonic energy, I think, called, helps to make the words disappear. Uh, you, you should sense the psychic energy of it as soon as you read, start reading. <clears throat> So, so a novel is a long story about life. Uh, it must be wordless. Uh, the words must never draw attention to themselves. In the last century, many popular commercial writers like John Updike <coughs> were famous for their virtuosic writing. In his autopsy, I mean, not his autopsy, his, uh, his uh, uh, oh shit, what's, what's the word for... Uh, Obituary. In his obituary. His obituary, uh, 
the, the critic extolled his, his writing by quoting this comment, this words, these words from his uh, from a novel. The dimpled golf ball looked the stop. I want you to only use a sentence like that, a description like that, uh, to describe and he fixed my problem too. Call me. how it looked to how it looked to the, the onlooker. Uh, and of course, he would have to be on drugs or drunk for it to look astounding. To see a little white face, it looks astounding. Okay. Um, so, so. Words should you, you don't show off with your language. See, as as the novelist of the see uh, many of these decadent novels, I, I, I would describe the the novels of the last century as decadent because they so many of them are about about writing itself. They're about the the, the major feature of the novel is the actual writing. Okay, uh, the, the the don't do this, don't try this at home aspect of the writing. But you know they, they can take that all and shove it because nobody even knows their names anymore. All these best-selling authors in the last century who were such brilliant writers. Right?